she up by seven. In four hours, you think? Not a problem. All right, cool. You know what? For you, we'll do it. I love it. Let's have a drink. Oh, my God. I will throw up all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I love the clap, Ponzi. That was great. That was really... <laughs> bada bing. Yeah, no, it, it, the sweatpants really say it all. Um, <laughs> I love Ponzi. Jeff or Curie, how you doing? I'm great, Caitlin Palufo. <laughs> how are you? I'm really coming hot. It's too hot. Yeah, no, it's great. It's natural. <laughs> yeah, very much. We're starting now. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you for being here. Do we both look into the cameras when we start? No, oh. no, no. No, if we can. Begin. Right. Okay. <laughs> We're, yeah, this is still. I'm wasted already. Yeah? Oh, no. Drink the water. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it's water, but it's. What is you know, it? I was going to say vodka, but it's too easy. I was going to say like whiskey. But, all right. Let's move. What else is going on? <laughs> this is going to be a hot one. I can already tell this one's going through the roof. <laughs> this one's going to break us. I'm feeling it. Uh, well, Jeff, I um, I um, we've known each other for a long time. We yeah. got very drunk together on Wednesday. We did. We both blacked out, which is super yeah. fun. And I have been hurting ever since. Yeah, that was interesting. It was... But you know what, though? It was kind of, I think we both have the same type of blackout, which is like, everyone's like, oh my God, you were so silly last night. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, that's how I know I was okay is because the people I saw the next day were like trying to get me to drink again. And yeah. I'm like, I don't want to. They're like, come on. And I'm like, all right. It was fun, at least. <laughs> but seeing videos of yourself, I was of singing. That's, I get a lot of that. You sing a lot? When I get drunk? Yeah. Oh, the, oh, the chords. They <laughs> They come out, dude. Little vocal cords come oh, out. Oh, and the worst is like seeing uh, Kels at the cellar get, showed me a video of oh, me singing no. at, because apparently we got drunk at uh, the bar. Yes. And then we went to around the corner and then we went, I went to another bar. I don't think you did. No, I went home. I went with like a few of the servers there and then she showed me a video of me singing like the last call song, like, <laughs> I forget what song it was. But Closing it was, Yeah, time. yeah. <laughs> One of those. And then just, but like, I was like, I saw the video and I'm like, oh, I don't look that bad. And then I looked at my eyes. The, the dead giveaway of drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is when I, I like open my eyes and I like, Kelsey videotaped me and I like, looked at her like this. I was like, like that. <laughs> like when, you know, when the eyes catch up with the head turn, like. Yeah. <laughs> I did that. And I remember being like, okay, yeah, I was wasted, but silly. Yeah. That's yeah. the important thing. I was told that I came over to. McDougal and I just started hugging everyone and telling them how much I loved them. I was That's like, great. you're wonderful. I just think you're great. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to leave. <laughs> yeah. And then I just got into a cab. Yep. Apparently, Colm and I were supposed to share a cab home. But then he was like, nah, I'm going to the bar. And I was like, yay. And well, then, did you go with me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, of course. <laughs> what a time we had. I know. And it was the night before Thanksgiving, which is so hack to just get blackout oh, drunk yeah. the night before Thanksgiving. What are we, a small town in <laughs> yeah. Illinois? Jeez. That's the thing is the vibe wasn't even, it wasn't even like crazy uh, no. out. It was just like, there was mm. no one there left. We started and then it just became like, come on, one more. Yeah. <laughs> we one were more. just having a nice conversation. It was. That's yeah. what caused me to go to a fight with a lady because she she's like, come over. I'm like, okay. And then like an hour passed after we were hanging out yeah. and then she's like, you can't do this to me. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I don't want to. <laughs> well, That's why you talk, yeah, yeah. You, talk, <laughs> you talk me out of. <laughs> you you're like this sounds like a very serious conversation we should have about prioritizing mm -hmm. you and I should do it when we're both sober and I remember like typing it out like <laughs> is this good is this good and you're like it's perfect I hit send and then just never looked at it again yeah. the next day I just woke up to a bunch of texts from her being like mad at me for not committing <laughs> God, I do have a way with words. Um, <laughs> I know exactly what a desperate woman wants to hear. So yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> the, if I had heard this, I would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, that's why I just sent her what you told me. Just yeah. I just said, "Cool it, toots." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like fuck off. Yeah, you're a little clingy. <laughs> yeah, toots. You gotta yeah. Add toots. toots, toots. You're Ladies crazy, toots. toots. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, yeah. That's wife material right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I like a little possession. Possessive <laughs> behavior. So speaking of possession, you were birthed in what state? <laughs> what <laughs> pussy owns you? <laughs> A.K.A. who's your mother? <laughs> I feel like those are all separate questions. I was really trying to <laughs> link it back in a fun yeah. way. And oh, yeah. No, it came off very naturally. It's almost like it, we flowed into it. Um, yeah, I've been doing this podcast almost 140 episodes. You'd think really? I'd be better at it. <laughs> no, you're great. Speaking You'd think I'd be really good, but whoop. <laughs> Speaking of 140 episodes, I was born in uh, <laughs> I was born in, on Long Island, actually. 
What? Uh, Queens. I was born okay. in Queens. Grew up on Long Island. Got it. And then fall out with my dad's business with his father. Oh. So we all like, we just like, you know. Oh, move. you're Italian. Italian, Irish, and yeah, Polish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of everything. Yeah. And then we moved to like Michigan, mm-hmm. um, where my mom is from. Because my parents met on a cruise. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, that's my awesome. mom was on a cruise. My dad was on vacation. They met on the island. And like three months later, they were married. Oh, that's very sweet. It is sweet. Yeah. I, I bet mean. they were drunk. Yeah, I you know bet I mean? they were. This is a baby of drinking right here. Like, <laughs> there's no way you're making this sober. <laughs> it runs in your blood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're a Michigan boy. Kind of, yeah. I was there from like 15 to 22. Okay. 16 to 22, yeah. So you were in Long Island before then. Long okay. Island, which is pretty much, any, it could be anywhere in the United States. Yeah. Like, people say, like, I had cousins in Queens and, and uh, Brooklyn that were like, you're not really from New York. Just kind of like saying, like, mm-hmm. if you live in upstate, you're not like, I'm a New Yorker. It's like, yeah, yeah. you're kind of Canadian, you I'm know? A, yeah. Yeah, I get that. I yeah. get that. But that probably made you feel sad. Are you okay? I'm okay. That's not, <laughs> listen, we can get into many more things that'll bring that'll me make... down. Yeah, yeah. That, starting <laughs> off, I'm doing all right. <laughs> now, in Long Island, did you ever, were you a bad boy? Were you cool? Were you popular? Oh, I I was uh, I was a bad boy. Oh, but I was like, God. <laughs> but like, I wasn't really the like- The way a... you said it made me go, God. <laughs> You like that toots? Oh no! I wasn't like a, I wasn't like a bad boy. I was, <laughs> I was, I was more of like a bad boy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like I got in trouble. And I was like, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't like I don't even care what you think, mom. It was more like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I remember we found pot the first time I ever smoked pot. I think it was pot. We found it in like a film canister. It was like Ends 12. Ends up being mess. It's <laughs> just like, I don't know what this is, but it's really fun. It's a leafy, leafy crystal. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I probably would have made me better in school. If I would have figured out meth early on, I probably <laughs> would have benefited from it. Okay. Because I feel like Adderall, I, when I've taken Adderall a few times, mm-hmm. three times. Yeah. Bad boy. <laughs> uh, unprescribed. Uh <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, this is how people think and behave in conversations. Mm-hmm. Like you listen and you wait for your turn to talk. Mm-hmm. And then I would just like have this hangover the next day of like going back to normal. And I'm like, I don't think I can do this regularly, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I remember I took, a, I took weed. Took a weed. We took, we took a weed. Okay. It was in a film cancer. My friend found it and was like, we should just try and smoke it. So we did. And then nothing happened. And he said, I think what we're supposed to do is shake our heads like left, like as fast as we can. <laughs> and then we all got dizzy. And I'm like. I'm fucking high, dude. Like, I thought that's what weed was. I think we smoked. I don't know what we smoked. Oregano. Yeah, it was something. But then I like I, I smoked cigarettes. Oh, my yep. goodness. I got caught smoking cigarettes. Oh. And that was a, like I was part of the reason my sister said that we moved was because I was like in with the wrong crowd. But it was like cigarettes and marijuana. You know? <laughs> I remember how I got caught. This is funny. I got caught. I was wearing jean shorts. Yes. Tight. Janko jean shorts, like not Janko, but I was gonna say Jankos are the the floaters. I was a fat, fat kid. You were a fat. Kid? I was a chub. I was a chubbers. You were a little. Chub- I was. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Just smoking fine. weed. <laughs> no, you don't need to get hungrier. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you went from so nice to be like, well, don't, don't eat that much, you fucking fatty. <laughs> well, I just found out that you're a, you were a fat boy. I was a chubby boy. I was for you sure. You didn't play sports. I tried. Yeah. But I got shin splints because the, the legs weren't working good. I remember I tried running and then I would just have these pains. The doctor's like, it's because you don't use your legs. He's uh, a bad boy, everybody. Yeah, I'm a bad boy. I skateboarded. I didn't run. I couldn't That's skateboard. That's worse well. for the, the shin splints. It's, yeah, I guess so. I got caught smoking cigarettes. Okay. I was packing Newports. <laughs> In my, f- I put them in my jean shorts that were so tight. My sisters love this story because of how tight my jean shorts used to be. Yeah. And I put them in the front pocket of my jeans when my friends came over. And then we're like, we're going to go to the, we're going to go down a bike ride. And I'm leaving. And my mom goes, what's that in your front pocket? And I just looked at my two friends and I go, run. And we just run out the door. <laughs> which you can't run, outrun mom. You got to come home at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. And so I remember running out the door. My bike was in the garage still. And the garage was closed. And I was like, shit, we can't go anywhere right now. So then I took the cigarettes out and I threw them under my sister's Jeep, like my 16 year old sister's Jeep, threw them under there. And then my sister comes, my mom comes over and goes, I just th- saw you throw it. And she picks it up. She goes, cigarettes. <laughs> and I remember the way she said it. It was almost like I like, won a prize, like <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> and then she like just I threw them in the garbage. And then my dad came home and like had a talk with me. And then I wasn't allowed to hang out with those friends anymore. And like eight months later, we moved. Oh, but it was fine. You know, get the habit. Yeah, <laughs> good. Otherwise, you wouldn't sound yeah, like no, a cute guy. You'd be. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. He vapes. It's worse. 
<laughs> oh, God. And, and it looks a lot better in my jean shorts now. Oh, no. I bet you it doesn't. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully your pants aren't as tight. That's no, they are. They're tight, but they look better now. Chubby ch- t- pants on a chubby guy. You ever see like a guy with like a chubby guy with tight pants on, and you can see everything in his pockets. Yes. You know, like the ch- the chunks. I go. That's one of my biggest. I I go. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Is it seeing that. Like drives seeing stuff me in pockets. Nuts when comics are on stage, male comics, and they have their phone, their wallet, oh. their keys, and I'm just like, you have lumpy thighs. Yeah, it's so you weird. You look lumpy, dumpy. Take it out. Make him flush. Eric Newman, take it out. Really? Yeah. He, I didn't notice that. It. Oh, it drives me nuts. I bring it up to him all the time. And I literally, when he brings me on stage, I said, keep it going for Eric Newman in those tight ass jeans. And he goes, oh, and I was like, they're too tight. I got new, I just got new jeans, new yeah. pants. Let's take a look. Glow. Stand up. Show the world. Oh, yeah. You told us. No, I'm not going to stand up. But... Okay, fine. You know, <laughs> I'm good. Thank I'm good. you for yes anding me. I'm worried. Um, well, yeah, we just talking about tight pants. It's going to be on everyone's brain. Yeah. And if I stand up while the words tight pants are within 30 seconds of the visual, people are going to be like, it's t- pants are too tight. I'm not self-conscious. Yeah. Seems like it. Seems like you're really fucking who cares. Like oh, a bad, bad boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, finger guns. <laughs> they were put those away. They were, they were shooting Get so slow away. too. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Icky! <laughs> you're a Ken doll to me. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. putting things in my pockets right now. <laughs> okay, so you moved to <clears throat> Michigan. Yeah, moved to Michigan and then um uh just lived there. Started Still just- Chevy? Still chubbers. I remember we moved and my mom was like, you can be like the cool new Italian kid. That's what she said when we were moving. <laughs> Should she get you a chain? <laughs> That's the thing is I was like, do you think it's been my choice this whole time? <laughs> like, oh, cool. I get to re-roll my character now this time. Yeah. I was just a chubby fat kid, a nerdy kid in a different place. In yeah. A different zip code. That's all it was. And then, uh, you know, got into... Not really much there. I really didn't drink in Michigan that much. Really? That's surprising. Uh, I feel like Michigan is like, you fucking, there's, it's cold. Let's it's drink. cold, <laughs> but it's like, there wasn't as, I would just go work and then go home. And mm-hmm. like my family wasn't, they weren't big drinkers. Um, and so I just didn't really drink for years. I mean, mm-hmm. really, I remember the first time I got drunk was at my, my uncle when I was actually like 15 or 16 <gasps> when I first moved there. They let me drink from the keg, which was oh. water, basically. Was, oh, like a Coors Light or whatever. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but it was just like a watered down <laughs> beer. And then yeah, I drank yeah. that for the first time. And then my dad was drinking. My dad never drinks because he used to drink a lot. Yeah. And then he did so much that he wasn't allowed to anymore. Yeah, he won. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. beat it. <laughs> and so he was drinking a little bit. And he's very funny. But he's really goofy, kind of like how mm-hmm. I get. And he encouraged me to jump over the bonfire. And I just kept doing it until at one point everyone's like, that's your son. Like, don't. Because if he falls and he falls, like, he burns himself. The next day, it's your fault. He's yeah. still underage right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't, uh, yeah, but that was the first time I ever got drunk. Oh. I remember that day. And you're I was jumping like, over feels... thro- fire? Yeah. <laughs> I am a bad boy. And singing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> ba, ba, Miss America. <laughs> that was the song. Oh, man. Did you ever, because I feel like you're not, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy. You're not chubby anymore. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> That's the name of my album. Check it out. I'm not chubby anymore. <laughs> but like I, I was Jessica. Also... <laughs> oh boy, what'd she do? <laughs> um, I went through like I wasn't chubby, but I was kind of like um, svelte, like svelte, big boned. Okay. You know, I was an athlete, and so I was yeah, never yeah, fat, yeah. but I was like thick. Yeah. And then I got grounded for a summer, and then I was like, well, I'm not gonna be thick anymore. And I just like lost like 20 pounds. And then I came back. I'm uh, all, very much into you? the transformations. I was a sophomore, coming into sophomore High year. school. High school. Wow. And so I lost like 20 pounds and I came back and I was uh, super hot. And I got uh, the eyes of a few upperclassmen, Ooh. will I say, you know? And really? then I still had no confidence. So then I just didn't do anything with it and then got fat again. <laughs> really? Oh, you just, Not really fat, but it's felt. <laughs> you tried on the shoes and then Yeah, and I was like, this you. jean skirt doesn't fit. <laughs> I then... will say, I remember my sister's carpet on that about how like how much harder it is for women to be uh, have extra weight mm-hmm. because of uh, the the requirements of clothing. Like yeah. you, you couldn't you couldn't hide it as much. But now mm-hmm. it's like it's almost reverse. I feel like men's pants are tighter and women's clothing is looser. Yes. 100%. So it's harder for us now? No. No, things are everything's harder nope. for men. Absolutely not. Never 
ever will be. It takes it's it's harder for us to lose weight. Oh, is that it? Our hormones? No, that's not it. This is the opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah, it's a lot easier. <laughs> Everything's a lot easier for us. When did you get thin? Uh, I started working out. Honestly, it was like a year and a half ago. I started like considering like taking vitamins, com- drinking kombucha. People ask like, "How'd you lose weight?" I'm like, "Tito's and Skinny Pop." I switched. <laughs> I stopped drinking a lot. Mm-hmm. as much and i stopped drinking beer i just drink vodka now which is not great but i've known you for a while and you haven't been chubby you do you see me on colbert yeah you, you weren't Col- chubby look if you compare it if i compare it but i'm t- imagining you as like a little chunker okay i was over 200 pounds yeah yeah at one point i was like 205 yeah but you weren't fat i wouldn't say you were fat but at now all. i'm like 160 something or something so i was definitely like 40 30 40 pounds I got 15 pounds on this boy <laughs> Fucking snap you in half. <laughs> when I say svelte, I mean svelte. Yeah, I don't even know. I've never, I don't think I've ever heard that word used as much svelte? as right now. This is the most I've heard that word in years. You're welcome. Take it svelte. out into the world. Say Caitlin brought you. S V E L T? I think so. S V W E L T. Svelte. 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 <laughs> the bad boy is svelte. <laughs> Oh, so it's just recently you started getting into shape. Yeah, I started. Uh, it was. It was. It was I, I credit him this too because he just texted me recently. You know Matthew Broussard. Mm-hmm. Uh, he texted me and says, "Hey, have you lost weight?" And I said, "Yeah." And he's like, "Whatever the text was." And I go, "I actually owe it to you because I remember when I was in Vegas with him, I started losing weight." And he pointed out to me, he goes, "It's funny how just doing anything, exercise is is so much better than nothing because a yeah. lot." Of- Times you go, I don't, I can't go to the gym for an hour and a half, two hours today. I don't have the time. Mm-hmm. So those are the days that I'll just run for 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then get back and do a pull up on pull up bar and then be like, cool, I worked out for 20 minutes today, but that adds up if yeah. you do that five, six times a week. Yeah. So I just did that and then started, stopped eating like crap and no more dairy. No more dairy. Cut dairy out completely because Why? I'm lactose intolerant. I didn't know it till like my late 20s. Oh my God. Yeah. No more cheese? No more cheese. You just, just figured that out? I've, I was I was pooping like six times a day as a kid, and I was like, "That's normal." Like I was pooping my pants every now and then, and be like, "What are we gonna do?" You know? That's life for you. Your body's like, "You're poisoning us," and I'm yeah. just like, "No, everybody just shits forever." For so many times, and then yeah. I stopped eating dairy like a year and a half ago, and I was like, "Look at these consistent logs." You know? Oh boy, yeah, we're just getting hot. Getting yeah. real sexy talk here oh, on Good great. Time Gal. <laughs> oh, it, ch- it changed everything, you know? My, I feel like my skin's better. Oh, you have love. You're glowing. Thanks. You're welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs> so you were still chubsters in high school. You stayed. It's chubby boy in high but school. But I'm going to take it back because I don't think you were chubby in your Colbert. And if that's what you're talking about, then I'm sure you were fine. I absolutely was chubbier in my... Because I've, I've had a lot of people like commenting like, holy shit, you've lost a lot of weight since those like videos or even like old videos I have on my YouTube where I'm looking mm. back at them and I'm like, woof, dude. Cause when I gain weight, it goes right to my face right away and mm. I lose it, whatever little jawline I have. So yeah. it's like, I just become kind of a mush and I always hate it when I like, you watch videos of yourself and mm-hmm. you do things like, like this and you get all, all oh, uh, yeah, you see yeah. all this stuff. Oh yeah. This? Yeah. This right here? Yeah. Why? I'm very vain and self-conscious. You like it? I, we gotta, I always got to make sure Ponzi feels included. When looking at my double chin. That's not even that bad. Thank you so much. No, you got a strong, uh, it's very svelte. Thank you. I got a svelte jawline. Oh. Which accent was that? Oh, uh, Jamaican. <laughs> Again. <laughs> the cards, they don't lie. <laughs> uh, anyway, so high school. You don't yeah. drink in high school? No, I really was a loser in high school. Didn't cool. really hang, uh, <laughs> yeah, didn't wow, drink. this is turning into a... Tragedy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, let me finish because then I was prom king. No. No. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Oh, you weren't? I remember because we moved to Michigan. And I'm like, cool, I could be the new, new, new cool Italian kid. <laughs> and I get there and everyone in Michigan was like 6'3". Yeah. And Italian also. Yeah. The only thing I left was I just there was no more Jewish people. <laughs> That's the only thing that happened from Long Island to Michigan was no more Jewish people. Everyone got taller and they all were doing cocaine. Yikes! Yeah, I remember like in high school. I some kid was like selling cocaine on the bus, and I was like, "Cocaine? That's insane!" Never did it. Never did it in high school. Cocaine and like all the uh, all the powder drugs in high school. You're like, I will never. No. How could I ever? You know. Yeah. But they were just doing it. Right. Were they wealthy? I think they were like rich kids. Yeah. Yeah. I did smoke weed though in high school mm-hmm. with my dirtbag new dirt, new dirtbag friends. That's good. First time I smoked was a wild ride. Oh, what was it? Like first time I real smoked weed. It was just at my friend's house and we like started smoking and I just didn't want to talk. 
Mm-hmm. I was so scared. I, and they're like, I was, I remember saying, the only thing I said was, is it okay if I just don't do anything for a while? And they're like, <laughs> yeah, it's okay, man. And then the kid's mother came in and was like, let me get a hit of that and sat down with us and started making fun of me. And that was, that freaked me out, dude. <laughs> like a mom was there and I was eight, 16, 17 years old, just being like, am I in trouble or what's going on right now? And she was just like, this kid doesn't talk. Uh, this kid does not talk. And I'm like, no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> we got Simi in here. Hi. What's up, Sim? What up? But continuing. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I was just smoking weed with my friend's mom. That's what it was. Oh, right, right, yeah. right, right, right. And she just made fun of you? Yeah, that just freaked me out. But then I got really into weed again once I was like lived in Chicago. Yeah. I moved to I moved to Chicago to do comedy further because I started in Michigan. And how then, old were you when you started? Twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. When did you how old you when you started? I was twenty seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I honestly like anything before twenty five is like kind of a waste of time. It's just working reps out because mm-hmm. you have no life experience. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember my first closer was like, Man, I imagine if men had their periods. <laughs> <laughs> Well, imagine. Uh, we <laughs> we take the whole damn day off. <laughs> and like, Little cuck, 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 oh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. awful jokes that yeah. I still do. Uh, <laughs> I mean, imagine we wouldn't handle it as well as you ladies. Handle it. Am I right? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad. Uh, but then, yeah, that was just that. And then I started drinking. Chicago was like turned it up a notch. Yeah. Like, the drinking the drinking culture there is insane to a fault. Like it's yeah. too much. And it was like encouraged. That was the first time. Like when I went to a doctor, like how much do you drink? And I'm like, you know, like, three, four a night. Mm-hmm. Like of what? And I'm like whis- whiskey straight. And they're like, you got to stop. And yeah. I'm like, all right. It was really five, six. But... <laughs> yeah. I know. I always lie to my doctor. Yeah. For and no then I'm reason. Like, I should get my life together. Yeah. If I'm yeah. lying to a medical professional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. But so when did you first get drunk? How old were you? Fifteen or something like that. Like I was at my uncle's. Yeah, yeah. Halloween but I guess party. like uh, in Michigan. Oh, in Michigan, like, I, I remember with your like friends. Not. <laughs> I remember it was when I started comedy. Is when it became like I'll have a beer, and then mm-hmm. I did comedy enough that it was like that was my ritual was having a beer with the open mic or whatever, mm-hmm. and that that started it for sure. The comedy does make you drink more because yeah. it's, there's so much around the culture. It's at night. Yeah. There's the adrenaline. You want to come down, but. I've always been scared of DUIs, so I never drank really until I moved to somewhere with public transit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, I can get drunk every night, <laughs> or I can have a few beers every night, and then it, oh. Did you go to college? I did, but I, I dropped out when I started comedy, and then I went back just to get, I got like three associate's degrees. From three? A, from a community college, because I, I didn't know what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what I wanted to do, and then I was like, all right, I'll just like, I'll just go back before I move to Chicago and see what, and the guy's like, if you take one full semester of classes, you can get three associate's degrees with how many credits you have. What are they in? Business marketing and business management. Wow. Business and admin, yeah, yeah. Do you use any of that now? No, (laughs) not at all. I mean, I guess like with social media stuff maybe, Mm -hmm. a little bit, like marketing, I liked that stuff a lot. The business side, like the pillars of management. I was like, (laughs) I, I can't do this. I feel like such a dork. Yeah. I said a dude at a show, a kid at a show recently that just, I go, what do you want to be when you grow up? Because he's like 22. And he's mm-hmm. like, I want to be a businessman. Oh, like, oh business God. <laughs> I, it's so funny. I was like, a briefcase and everything. <laughs> it's, it's so funny to me that that is a, that's a career. Yeah. Bus- business. Yeah. It doesn't matter what business. Just business. Just business. I sell printers. I want to wear a suit. <laughs> oh, God. That business. sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, that Those sounds guys like drink. a Nicolas Cage movie. Those guys drink. Yeah. Business boys. Business boys. In New York. <laughs> like finance guys, they get ripped yes, up, dude. that is true. Finance guys, finance bros. Yeah. Yeah, they get hammered. And they're always the most obnoxious at comedy shows. And weird sex behaviors. Like, whoa. <laughs> is it jumping it up a notch? <laughs> it's I not just that re- kind of podcast. <laughs> Goodness. I remember when I was in an open relationship. Never. She was like, oh, I'm going out. My friend invited me to this party with these Harvard businessmen. And I'm like, you too many adjectives. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, she was like, it's a weird sex party where women perform by like, like shitting out dildos and stuff like that. What? Shitting And she was like out? sending me pictures. I'm like, I don't think you're supposed to be taking pictures of this shit. But also, just talk to me later. I don't yeah. want to <laughs> hear about this as it's happening. And the next thing you know, you're like, all right, I'm shitting out a dildo now or something else. Yeah, it was weird. Shitting out a but dildo? But it was all Harvard. I'm like, because they're, and they were all like 30. Like, it's like, how much, how? How do you shit out a dildo? I think you just put it up there. And then and you then, have to poop it out? Yeah, yeah. I don't think she swallows it and waits six hours. <laughs> but I mean, like, how does it? There's like safety hatches. Up there. 
hatches? <laughs> yeah, there's like a. You guys have safety hatches? <laughs> it just doesn't seem possible. You have to have so much control over your. I think these were professional <laughs> women. I don't think they were just like, you know what I feel like doing tonight? I'm pretty sure that they clocked in on a computer when they had to start their pooping out the dildos. <laughs> But I remember that she's like, it came out and like flopped down and she was like squatting. This is a weird story. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. This is so unsettling. Do you want to change the subject? <laughs> That's like Requiem for a Dream. Yeah, ass to ass. <laughs> yeah, but in this, this case, it was just ass to dildo. <laughs> just all ass. Just one lady out there. <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't get into that. Where does your life go wrong? I'm a traditional guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Shit out normal poop. <laughs> and let me watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get out of here with this solids I'll, coming out. Yeah, now that you got logs on I logs. I got logs. <laughs> I can relate to that. <laughs> if she came out like Tommy Gun blasting, I'd be like, I, I hear you, sister. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus right. Christ, our Curie. I'm sorry. What a sick fuck. I had a Celsius drink before this. <laughs> That's 200 migs of calf, baby. Migs of calf? <laughs> oh, my God. The Michigan comes out. <laughs> here comes the bad boy guns. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, did you know that Simeon? Did you know that uh, Jeff is a bad boy? I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the baddest of the boys. Oh my God, Lord help us all. <laughs> so, in comedy, did you ever embarrass yourself getting too drunk? Besides our Wednesday night, Just most recently. <laughs> um, I've never really liked getting drunk on stage. Like being drunk on stage mm -hmm. has felt like shit the times I've done it. And it's usually when it's like, "Hey, can you go up?" And I'm like. Uh, sure, because I yeah, hate yeah. saying no. But I would say in comedy, if I embarrass myself, yes and no. Like in semi related to comedy, like I did a mm -hmm. booze cruise. You did I was a booze hired. cruise? Yeah, I was hired to do a normal cruise ship. Okay. It was supposed to be like a half clean, half adult sh thing where you're doing two shows a night, 45 minutes each, one clean, one adult. And it was mm -hmm. like every single night. And they were, had a strict dress code. I was already flying around at the time. So I just had to replace all my clothes. So I threw my clothes away out of my suitcase and bought just dockers and because they had like dress code, right? I had to wear collars even when I wasn't performing. Yeah. And so I bought all this stuff and then I'm boarding the ship and I'm seeing pasties and thongs and all this people walking on. I'm like, what's going on? And then I get on board. It was like a chartered booze cruise. They do it yearly and it's like really expensive. I met a lot of people from New York there. It's like two grand a ticket or something like that. Whoa. And I go, I'm still going to have to do a PG show for people that are In high on everything. <laughs> yeah. And the not guy wearing goes, anything. He goes, uh, good news, bad news. The bad news is all your shows are canceled except just one in the middle of the week. We're going to have you do it in this lounge area. Just one show and anything goes. And I'm like, how long? He's like, just like 45. And I go, okay. What's the bad or what's the good news? And he's like, you still get paid for the whole thing. And you get to just enjoy the seven day cruise. Oh, my God. And here's your suite. And I'm like, OK. You and get a suite? Yeah. And then I so I was like, OK, I'm going to have I'm going to treat this like a vacation. Kind yeah. Of. And I went and I bought the drink package for like 250 bucks. Good for you. Uh, Walked around everywhere promoting the show just yeah. as a reason to like try and make friends. Because I went I went I was there alone. Everyone yeah. was there with their friends. And it was a lot of like our age ish mm -hmm. where it was like. Those are the rave people, the EDM people. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. like 22 year olds. So it was actually kind of fun. Yeah. But I met a couple the first day. They were just like a, a nice couple that were like in the distance drinking slowly. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that's people I can be, make friends with. Yeah. Turns out he was like one of the big drug dealers on the ship. Oh, geez. I didn't know this until like two days in. He kept giving me stuff. He's like, do you like Molly? And I'm like, absolutely. He's like, here's like four of those. <laughs> he's like, you like this? You like this? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, here you go. Here you go. And he's like naming comics that he knows. And I'm like, I know them. And I was like, this is great. And he kept giving me stuff. And, he, and then at one point, like three days in, he goes, I have to pick up a shipment tonight at like 3 a.m. And I go, we're in the middle of the ocean, dude. He's like, yeah, but we're off the coast of Mexico. I have it being droned on. Oh, my ship. God. And so he had to go up to the top deck. And I'm like, can I come with you? And he's like, you don't want to come with me. No. Like, OK, fine. Don't come with. I was high off my gourd. <laughs> Off my You don't want to be there for the drug drop. I know, but I kind of would like to see like the. Oh, it's flying. <laughs> yeah. It was a little tight little package you came back with. And I'm like, he gave me a bunch of drugs. And then by day four, a 24 hour, seven day EDM cruise, by day three or four, I was just not wanting to leave my room. Because mm -hmm. if it was 9 a.m. or if it was midnight, it was just boots, 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 boots. Yeah, at yeah. the breakfast bar at like 8, 10 a.m. when I'm Good super hungover. God. It was, there was a strip club on the boat. No. There was a pillow room where it was all mattresses and pillows. Oh, God. Yeah, and I was just like, I was laying with like people I had met, just like hands going, but just everyone was close. Just getting lice and bed bugs. No, I don't Wah. think so. 
I don't think so. I mean, I caught something else though. No, Did kidding. you? No, I didn't hook up with anybody. Have you ever else. had an STD? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Of course. Of course. I feel like I feel one brewing right now. <laughs> <laughs> What STD did you get? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh. But, you know, the classics. Everyone's what are, you, what are the, the classics? classics? The chlamids, the ghanis. You had chlamids and gonorrhea? At some point in my life, yeah. Ah! What the fuck? Is that crazy? I'm not judging. I just... Should I have not said that? No. I've never had an STD. <laughs> what are no, the... Wait. Those are the cool ones. Yeah. No, I mean, I know a lot of men who get it. I've never gotten one. Oh, yeah? You just know a lot of men that have? I've, got, I've gotten a yeast infection. Does that count? Yeah. Well, it was probably undiagnosed chlamyd. No, it wasn't. It was. <laughs> chlamydia oh face. God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a chlamydia face. I didn't like how surprised you, call- you were. I was just surprised. I didn't realize. I thought you used condoms. I do. Absolutely, I do. But then every now and then you fuck a liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor little victim. Is, you guys have had the, you ever had the conversation where you're like, it's before you do it. You're like, you good? Like, just that. Or just, you good? It's like, I'm good. You're good. I'm good. <laughs> And I didn't realize you really got asked more than that. <laughs> I didn't realize until my ex, when I was with her, she's like, no, hey, for real, before we do this, like, when's the last time you were tested? When's the last time you had sex with somebody without a condom? And I need you to get a test and show me the paperwork before we do that. Wow. Yeah, she was also in the medical field. Good for her. Yeah, no, she was the one that taught me. Now, like, now when I uh, have sex <laughs> with <laughs> no condom. Raw dog, oh. bro. <laughs> This bad boy, raw dogs. <laughs> they call me the raw dog back in Michigan. <laughs> no, they don't. No, they, they don't. They call you the chubby Italian. <laughs> <laughs> they named a sandwich after me. It's all mortadelle. <laughs> chubby Italian with chlamydia. <laughs> yeah, that's the mayonnaise. No, God, <laughs> I hope maybe we should air this part, right? No. All this chlamydia talk. No, we're gonna we're gonna air it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Don't clip it. <laughs> no, no clippy clip. Um. Yeah, no, no I think clippy I, clip I, of the clappy clap. In the past. It's so in the past. And it's also. <laughs> he didn't acknowledge it at all. What, I, clippy clip of the clap? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> the I'm clappy just clap. In my head. <laughs> Don't be. Clippy clip the clappy clap. I get it. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> no, no, it's too late. It is. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I've never had an STD. Um, <laughs> I've never even come close. No, I know lots of men who've had STDs. Yeah, no, I know. It's it's like one of those things that like you live and learn, and yeah. it's also way less uh, consequential mm-hmm. for men than it is for women. Yeah, you, you just know? take a few pills and you're done. Yeah, and most of the time for women too, you just take that one mm-hmm. pill, give them the guns. <laughs> they're like, "We'll see you next week." I remember one time I had to get an HI. I did a. Let me rewind. I remember one time, the first time I ever got an STD was mm-hmm. when I lived in Chicago. Yeah, I was like 24. Yeah, and. I remember, like, I I didn't know. I was, like, freaking out. I'm like, this isn't normal. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I went to the clinic on a Friday night. And she was, she's like, we can't. We're, don't, we're over capacity now. We can't help you. And I remember there must have been something about the look in my eye <laughs> and the innocence or whatever I said where she just goes, okay, here. And she gave me her phone number and her name. She goes, come back on Monday morning at 8 a.m. exactly and we'll take care of you. And I go, okay, so the whole weekend, I'm just like, I have AIDS, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 die. you're freaking out, spiraling. And I show up at 8 a.m. and there's a line around the, like the block for this clinic, STD clinic. And so I'm like, fuck, so I text her, like, hey, it's, it's Jeff. <laughs> it's your sweet baby bad boy. <laughs> it's old stinky dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I remember this moment, because it stuck with me, is when she walked out the door, like leaned her past the line, so I saw her like leaning past the line, all the way to me, and she goes, Jeff, come <laughs> over. And I strutted like I was a regular, like, you know me. <laughs> always, always dog and raw. <laughs> and I, I walked past it, past it, and then like all the questions. I remember that was the first time I had to fill out the questionnaire of like them being like, have you had sex with somebody that you know has HIV? I'd be like, I feel like I would, I would know, I would be a little more urgent about it. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, I did, you know, yeah. but yeah, like all those questions were so much and I was answering them all honestly, but I was like, I was freaking out. And she's like, here, take this. And then two days later, it was gone. I'm mm-hmm. like, your boy can make that mistake a couple more times. <laughs> <laughs> this feels dirty. Oh, oh, it's boy. funny. It's honest. Yeah, it's honest. I like it. Thank you for being so honest Anytime. on this podcast. It's called Good Time Gal, which is technically porn. <laughs> Is Good it? time gal is like a. Oh, is that slang? It's slang for like a. I just realized this after I named the podcast that it is like a good time gal is like down for anything. 
<laughs> I was wow. like, oh, yeah, for like drinking and drugs, right? And they're oh. like, no, it's for pooping out dildos. <laughs> That's a good time gal right That's there. That's a good time gal. Or just clock it in. Yeah. <laughs> what if she just, it's just strictly work for her? Yeah. I you mean, know? honestly, she probably made good money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I assume. Yeah. People are probably throwing think... bills and then the hourly rate alone for pooping out dildos has got to be astronomical. That's like apartment in Manhattan type money. Yeah. yeah I yeah, doubt yeah. she's going back to Bushwick after pooping out no. dildos for Harvard boys. Yeah. She's got an OnlyFans now. She's doing fine. Those are, oh, yeah. People are really making money on that. Yeah. 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 I think she's doing better than all of us. <laughs> I'm going to do that. <laughs> to be honest. She's probably on Twitter being like, here's a preview. And the men are like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Is yeah. That how was that? Apparently. Is that yeah. you? That's I mean, what I do. I do it with my <laughs> feet only. So here's a preview. Just yeah. give him a pinky toe. Yeah, a little pinky toe. Yeah, one of my pinky toes are kind of fucked up. From, really? Yeah. From, from what, soccer, ballet. ballet. Yeah, a hippo in ballet. <laughs> yeah, nothing like a linebacker doing a pirouette. <laughs> You could buy crack some nuts. I literally did ballet for one semester and I was an, like a large leotard and I go in and I was like, oh, this is going to hurt my feelings the whole semester. Oh, yeah. Everybody is an inch big and I'm just like, I used to play college soccer. <laughs> like, Hello, my thighs are bigger than your waist. Let's I go. Mean, if you're talking like that and saying those things, yeah, yeah, you yeah. did it to yourself. It was terrifying. I had to do leaps and I was like, this is not, I'm oh. not a leaper. I'm a two feet jump up and elbow someone in the facer <laughs> yeah do you ever did you have to do the rope climb the rope no no thank god i had to try and do that those a lot of those things like gym was really bad for me i was very good at gym yeah it's the only thing i was good at i was not i was a chubby kid yeah i get shin splints on the quarter you mile do. i can't believe you got shin splints so easily i had shin splints but that was when i was like preparing to go to college <laughs> so was i i was too i was around to play collegiate soccer oh, no 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 <laughs> Collegiate soccer. <laughs> we no. had di very different high school I was experience. playing driveway basketball. A oh, bit that's different. fun. Yeah. Well, all that concrete is bad for your shins. Okay. If you don't have the proper art support. I don't. There you go. That's what happened. There you go. We, fi we figured today. it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> From pooping dildos to art support. <laughs> you get it all here. Good time, gals. All right. So we're just about done. Um, and uh, this is where I ask, are there any stories we did not get to? I'm trying to think. I don't think there were. I know I wanted to tell that cruise story because that was crazy. <laughs> Can I come with you to get arrested on the ship? I have some. Here's some embarrassing things. Okay. Can I tell you a couple embarrassing things? Yeah, well, please. one thing I'll tell you is funny is that I, I got my mom into smoking weed. Hell yeah. Which is great. That's a bad boy right there. Yeah. But like we have to like hide it from yeah. other parts of the family. But it's funny now. So I have my mom being like, I still have the weed pen. I'm like, I got that for you three years ago, dude. <laughs> she takes like one hit every quarter of a year. I love that yeah it's fun. she did it wrong the first time that's why i think i don't know if you've ever told her i don't think i've ever told you this but i went back there after i got it for like a year ago i gave she took a big old fat hit and then like so so anyway she goes that weed pen i don't touch it anymore i go what'd you do she's like she put it on like the highest level oh, she goes on level no. three and i was like no you want to do level one and she's like well it's only three i'm like it's out of three what logic is there <laughs> In this, where you're like, one, two, three. Okay, well, it's still only three. Three's and not she, a big number. It's a small number. It's a small number, <laughs> but in context, you know. Yes. And she took a big hit, and she showed me the line. I go, how long exactly? And she, like, imitated it, and I was like, oh, no, mama bear. <laughs> that is too much. And then she's like, yeah, well, then all I did was sit in front of the TV for five hours and pray the doorbell didn't ring. And <laughs> my sister's dying laughing. My mom's not laughing. She's telling us, like, how dare you did this to me. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, my sister then pipes in and goes, what were you watching for five hours straight? And she goes, the TV was off. She said it. <laughs> and I died because my mom it was not trying to be funny. But she's so hilarious when she doesn't want to be. Like, it's so funny. Yeah. She's like, it was off. And I was kind of, then she started laughing a little bit. I go, you just, and she goes, yeah, I just kept looking out the window and then looking at the TV and then darting my eyes at the door, just praying that no one was like, no packages delivered or anything. And I go, about two hours in though, it was kind of fun. She goes, it was kind of fun. <laughs> um, but the other thing I do when I drink was uh, I uh, I started learning piano. Oh, that's fun. And when I get, when I get drunk and I come home, oh, baby. <laughs> I remember I just learned a couple Sam Smith songs and I was drunk last week and I came home and I was like, I'm going to play the piano. And I, I was playing the piano. This is really embarrassing. I was playing the piano and then I looked at my bed and pretended there was like someone I was swooning. And I remember being like, and then just laughing at myself. I stopped and I go, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, man? You're having a little make-believe. That's okay. Having, 
Just yeah. like picture like a model. Just yeah. be like, is this working? Yeah. If only I had these skills when I was chubby Italian boy. <laughs> that boy's got some fingers. <laughs> He's going to be somebody. <laughs> a big a big somebody. Yeah. Uh, but yeah That's wanted... adorable. Good for you for wanting to learn a skill. Yeah. I, it was, uh, I think it was like Sam Evans that I heard it from first. It was like yeah. a nice outlet for whenever you're. Like if I'm writing or I'm editing or whatever, I'm like, I need to take a break. It's nice mm. to have something that makes me feel creative without the same type of the bra- part of the brain. Yeah. Being it's used. also supposed to help you with dementia. Yeah. It's supposed to help you not uh, get dementia. Yeah. Yes. I heard that playing piano does that too. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Huh? All right. Well, <laughs> what a way to end. Um <laughs> <laughs> Did you just talk show host me? Uh, well, that's uh, our time. Uh, <laughs> well, Jeff, this was actually very fun. It was fun. I enjoyed talking to you. You as well. What is your handle? Where can people find you? Um, at J R Curie for Instagram. But yeah. if you judge, just yeah, J A R C U R I for Instagram, and then Jeff R Curie for TikTok. And I don't use Twitter, but it's like Facebook. All that stuff is just type in my name. You'll find me. Yeah, you yeah, You can yeah. find me. You can find. He's findable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Making it easier nowadays. Great. And uh, thank you for doing the pod. You're welcome. You're thank a gem. You for having me. Yeah. You Stop getting chlamydia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Goodbye. It's good now. <laughs>